Okay, uh, good morning. Somebody actually asked me to do a, a tutorial regarding a simple rigging. I actually did one uh, one video a couple of years back, but uh, it's actually been it's a very long video. So I thought to do a shorter version uh, this time and uh, more to the point. So basically what you need is to actually have a, a OBJ or a rig or a model itself. So what I have here is a model that was given to me and it actually already is converted uh, to a rig. And so it has a bone which I actually cannot see. So I'm not sure what. So uh, let me change that to uh, let me change that to a uh, first so this is basically what happens when you in import uh, obj and uh, this is what you get okay so what you want to do is to go to edit uh, rigging convert prop to figure and then uh, what i use is general weight mapping so each of these have a different function but general weight mapping is actually the one that uh, if I'm not wrong from Genesis 8 they start using this version so uh, that would be the one to use okay so it becomes a figure so uh, I will rename this and basically getting rid of the those uh, stuff in front and you have a bone down here which are uh, still missing <laughs> Okay, the bone is down here. Right at the bottom. Okay, so uh, what I'll do is I will take this bone and move it up. Okay, I will go to align, auto align node. And now when you move things around, you will see that the... Uh, the ends of the bone will follow your arrow okay so you can put it in exactly zero zero for the x-axis because as you mentioned as you see just now it will actually just go to uh zero it will actually invert and point downwards i'm not sure why but a slight difference is enough to have something that is more accurate so that's good enough for me Okay, so this one will be your root bone or your head bone. So I will use this as a as a as a um, hair root, for example. Okay, then what I normally would do is I will do a create a uh, create bone. Okay, so now I have the hair um, back. Yeah. Zero 01 for example so the naming of this uh, bones doesn't really matter it's just something that you for you to see and for people to understand okay then next is the rotation order so what uh, in terms of like for example in this case the hair is pointing downwards so what you want is to have the y axis at the front so the y axis is the one pointing up and down okay the x axis is the one pointing left and right which is uh which is this the left and right and the z axis is is the one pointing front and back okay so in this case i will create a new bone create a child bone and then back hair zero one and then i will put it to y axis in front okay and accept so now you have another bone down here what you will do is to move this bone to wherever you want the the hair to start moving so for example if you move the hair somewhere here right roughly around this this length and then you move this all the way down to the end of the hair okay and after that what you need to think about is how many sections you want this to be divided into the how many hairs do you want this to move so for example uh, uh, I want it to go four sections so if this is the case you just select the hair and then split the bone and split the bone again and here is also split the bone 
Okay, so now you have four um, bones. Okay, and now you just need to rename them. Okay, so I will come down here, uh, this one, and I will do a edit rename and rename the bones. Okay, so if you only rename it here, say for example, if I only rename this one down here, right? If you go to the rename um, note section, you will see that only the note label is renamed and the note name is not. Okay, so it's uh it's easier to deal with if you just come down to the rename node and change the names to something that you can uh remember and understand. So that makes things less troublesome if you want to add new node new um new bones in the future. Okay, so this is just the naming convention that I usually use. You can select the other the, the the names yourself you want to put uh underscore for example entirely up to you okay so this is how you do the bones and then next is to do uh the weight map so the easiest way i found so far in making a weight map is actually to let me see if I, uh, select you go to the first bone and then you expand this circle and you select a whole bunch of uh, vertices select a whole whole bunch of the the hair it's much easier to deal with this kind of hair using like this kind of cartoon characters uh hair and if you need to do something more realistic then uh it'll be a lot more troublesome so then you go to the control and uh, the plus button on your number pad to increase the number of uh selection right so you do that and that basically is try to select everything as level as possible uh, to make things easier for you later okay so then you just move this to wherever your first bone is which is here my first bone is here so roughly around here Okay, so uh, my, 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 my mic actually cut out for a while. Uh, where was I? So basically, you just need to, to put the selection of the, the polygon roughly around where your bone uh, will start. Okay, and uh, clean this up a little bit. Some parts, some uh, jagged parts is fine. Though you will want to try to... Um, minimize you know things like to the edge of the polygon because that will cause you trouble when you try to weight map it later so i will do a bit of cleaning up here so something like that something like that okay so i do a fill in selection 100 percent okay and do the same to the hair number two so in this case, it'll be roughly around here. And I will control and uh, minus on your keypad or num, num, num lock pad. Okay, so roughly around here. Then some cleaning up. Okay, then I will do a fill in again 
and just repeat these steps for all the bones that you have. Okay, so... So something like that. Okay, so at this time, the rigging is actually very um, strict and very flat. So what happens if you try to move these bones around? It will be very jagged. Right. So what you want to do is to start selecting uh, beyond your selection. So, uh, so wait a moment. So start selecting beyond the bone. So your, your first bone is here. So you select all the way up to maybe say somewhere around here. Right, that is beyond your first bone. So your first bone is here and you are selecting all the way up to here. Okay. Then, uh, wait, edit, right click, wait, edit and smooth selection. So here you can do a operation on how, if, how smooth you want it to be. So this is what I usually use. Though in this case, I know I want to bump it up to something like 20. Okay, so when you smooth it out, this is the you will actually smooth out all the curve, and uh, this is how your hair will will move, right? Much more naturally. Okay, so this is how you do a very simple uh, operation on the how to do a very simple rigging on the hair. Then you just basically need to repeat, just need to repeat this with uh, all the other parts of the the hair, like your fringe and uh, stuff like that. So I just do a quick selection in this case uh, something you might want to see is uh, you can do you do the naming make sure that your left and your right right is right in front so your left so in, that example, in this case left hair uh, fringe for example zero one okay and same thing Like that so i will move this here and here this uh sometimes works sometimes doesn't work i'm still not exactly sure what is the triggering point i will attempt and uh see whether it actually works or not so i will split the bones like this okay and move it in a little bit then the next uh, something else you might want to um, that might be useful for you is you can use a snap operation so in this case i select the second hair and i snap the center point so in this case it will snap to the tail of your first point so that will make uh, arranging bones easier okay so i will rename this as a 02 fringe hair 02 okay then uh since i have a mirror mirrored uh, hair strand on the other side as well so what i can do is i can select this two hair and uh, create duplicate so i duplicate the two hair and then i will do a edit and rename the hair from left to right okay and make sure that the other parts of the name is the same except for the right and the left and the right part of the name so hair fringe 01 hair fringe 01 so the only difference is the left and right and uh the reason for this is to make it easier for when you want to mirror the hair like in this case i will select the left side uh hair and the right side hair is in the exact same location as the left side hair because currently this left side hair is sorry the right side hair is uh duplicated from the left side hair so what you want to do at this point is to do a edit mirror joints okay so the reason why i wanted to have your left 
the name left and right right at the end is because by default you already have this here so all you need to do is to select uh, recursive basically this select only will only move one bone then uh, select recursive will, will start uh, will, will select this bone and any of the children bone that is underneath this bone they will all be mirrored as well so you use this and you make sure that they are left and the right the name is correct and you click accept and it will be mirrored over so this is the right hair right here okay so this part is the part that i'm not very sure whether it will work or not sometimes it does sometimes it doesn't i am not sure why okay so next what you want to do is to select the hair and then use symmetry so assuming that this is uh mirrored properly your you will be able to it doesn't seem to be mirrored properly uh, because if it does it will actually select both both sides at the same time so never mind uh, basically in this in this case you will just do the ah what the in this case you just do the operation uh, the, the hair uh individually okay so same thing just fill and then in this case because the hair is thinner so you can actually see the box outline of where the hair is supposed to go so uh it makes things a little bit easier if you need to uh easier to see when where you need to move your selection of polygons too so basically just somewhere inside this box will be enough okay then just select the entire thing and smooth selection so in this case i don't want it to be so much because uh, it might actually go beyond so like in this case it actually went way beyond <laughs> yeah so if that is the case then my suggestion is you will want to at least keep the top half uh empty so so that when you move this bone it doesn't rotate everything okay so something like that something like that okay and in this case Okay, so if you hold shift and um and pin over and if you hold control and pin over uh there'll be different effects so holding shift right will actually paint your object um how to put it closer to 100 percent and holding control will smoothen out the values so that they they look smoother okay so this is basically uh, how you do a very simple rigging operation so in this case it, there isn't really a lot of things to be rigged so it's actually a fairly straightforward procedure right so then after that you can actually save your item as a prop or a figures uh, asset and you can share with other people or whatever you want to do with it okay so uh, this is the end of the tutorial i managed to put it to about 15 minutes or so so that is a much bigger improvement compared to the 45 minutes from my previous time thank you for watching uh i will see you the next time i actually do a video <laughs> and uh goodbye